All right, folks, uh, so today I'm going to show you the uh, repair I did to the roof of this coach. Uh, uh, damage wasn't didn't have anything to do with the uh, original accident in the front end, but uh, apparently a tree or something fell on it, and somebody did a horrible repair job on it, siliconed on some plastic plates, and uh, the headliner was sagging in the bedroom, so one of the last things I needed to do on the outside of the coach before moving on to the interior so uh, I'll uh, show you what it looks like now completed and then uh, I'll show you some video of how I repaired it so here it is uh, fully repaired uh, you can probably see this uh, line that's my uh, uh, where the glue joint was um, anyways uh, Bought this piece of fiberglass off of a wrecked uh, same model coach that uh, actually it was the same exact coach that I got my front cap off of, which is the same make, model, and year, and all that. So the paint lines didn't match, so I had to touch it up. Um, I had some touch up paint, so it doesn't look too bad. But uh, it uh, came out really well, it's solid, and uh, I won't have any issues with it now. And in the meantime, I had to also uh, uh, re-sew this uh, slide topper. It was all ripped out. So my wife re-sewed that seam, cut some off, and uh, it's all good to go now. So I'll show you, show you how I did it here. Okay, so uh, today I'm going to uh, climb up top and... Uh, uh, take a peek at this uh, crushed roof area we've got up top. You can see the masking tape up there. Um, I bought another piece of fiberglass roof off of a wrecked coach at Vizone um, last year to uh, splice in. So I'm going to get up top, take a look at the uh, uh, damaged area, and figure out kind of where to go from here, how to cut that and get the new piece put up there. So uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So here is the uh, new piece. Anyways, it's got this pattern just like my coach has up top. So um, let's get up there and take a look. This is the damaged area. They got some plastic plates. Somebody had. Caulked them down with, and uh, I put this tape on here for when I first bought it. it was sitting outside for a little bit to keep the water out. So, guessing maybe a tree branch or something fell on this thing. So yeah, it's they just gooped silicone sealant of some kind in there, and. Uh, Looks like I gotta remove this um, slide topper retaining bead retaining piece and all the trim underneath there, and uh, probably gonna make a cut down through all all the way out, maybe three by five foot cut. Remove all this and. Fiberglass the new one on. Okay, so there's my plates, plastic plates I gotta cut off. And I'm gonna peek around, see what kind of damage is underneath there, and decide uh where at this way to make my cut to start it, and then it'll be about five foot long because that's what my piece of fiberglass uh, replacement piece is. So, anyways, we'll get digging at it. See what's oh my the hell kind of crap is this wow this thing's really cobbled up whoever did this repair it's horrible
Okay, that's somebody's idea of a nice repair, I guess. Lovely. All right, I'll get in it deeper here. Nasty. Yep, well, I'm glad I bought a new piece because that is bad. All right, so I've got most of the screws out of here. There we go. So yeah, that's all one piece, and uh, that'll go right back on when we're done here. Okay, so I got my new used piece of uh, fiberglass roof all trimmed up square and uh, all the rough uh, edges cut off and sanded all the paint off. and. Uh, I think I'm going to put it about right here. So I'm going to put a mark here and here, trace it, and uh, cut this old garbage off. So. a little on and looks like there's half inch foam underneath that it's looking like these joists are still straight which is a good thing and uh they just need to be raised and reattached here, but this piece is all buggered up, so... Okay, so today I'm going to try to cut out some of this uh, aluminum extrusion, this rail that's uh, screwed down into the wall. Um, that's what hangs these rafters, and it's pretty well uh, twisted up. So I cut through the web here and uh, then I try to cut through here, leaving a lip and um, got a piece of angle aluminum I'm going to sister up onto this area here and back in here somewhere.
So I got this piece of uh, quarter inch by three inch by three inch uh, angle aluminum going in here to uh, replace this bent up piece um, that I cut out the other day. And uh, so the idea here was this extrusion was bent down so all this was low same thing over here this was bent down it's all a one piece extrusion kind of a z bend type arrangement so <clears throat> i cut what was left of this little flange off of it got this angle aluminum put in place and it was uh it's hard to explain but uh this was probably a half inch low here and <clears throat> by drilling bolts down through the corners I was able to draw that together draw it up tight on the bottom so now it's all flush it's at the right height so these ribs I'll go inside and push up on the ceiling and I'll reattach these uh, or rather these rafters get reattached to this aluminum angle and I'll make little angle brackets that will bolt in here and into here and uh, it's looking pretty good um, wasn't quite sure how to get this stuff flexed back up into position I tried pulling earlier um, but uh, I didn't do too much but uh, this angle really drew it up tight so anyways I'm gonna drill some more holes uh, got to pull this section up with some bolts but uh it's looking pretty good so keep on it going here okay making up some uh, uh angle brackets to mount the rafters to my new uh side piece so just gonna make up a couple of these and uh Should work pretty good. It's quarter inch bolts. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, how I'm pushing up on the ceiling. Uh, get these uh, rafters moved up into position. So. I had a saggy uh, headliner here, which is basically glued to the bottom of the rafters. There's several layers of foam. There was a uh, uh, hard foam layer of plywood up here, and uh, um, that's the headliner material, soft foam and vinyl. So. <clears throat> I put a board up top and um, up against the vinyl and then uh, span the board out across the bed and use various means of putting tension on it to push it up. So uh, got one bolted in place. I got to come over to this one, far one and uh, lift that one up and get my brackets drilled with that lifted up. So that's how I'm doing it. feels good to get that fixed. Now uh, we'll reattach this headliner from underneath, use some uh, contact cement any place it's loose, and uh, get some uh, fiberglass cut to make flanges underneath this fiberglass to lay our new piece on and uh, get some insulation in there. Good to go. Okay, so today I'm uh, 
sanding this uh, fiberglass lip I applied. It's going to be like a ledge from a new fiberglass piece to sit on. So um, I took some aluminum, uh, thin strip of aluminum right here, sanded it all up, applied uh, several layers of fiberglass cloth to it, wetted that out with epoxy, then I mixed up thickened epoxy and uh, clamped this uh, piece of fiberglass strip that I cut off the old uh, broken piece of uh, the roof here. So I made this uh, strip, I don't know, it's like two and a half inches wide and it's leaving me about an inch and a quarter ledge here to glue to. Something like that. And uh, get that done and uh, start figuring out what I'm going to put in there for insulation. I've got to tape up um, where this AC vent cut got cut by uh, where it passed through this rafter when that all got smashed. So tape that all up and uh, get the insulation in there. Mixing up some uh, thickened epoxy to uh, bond my uh, roof replacement piece on. So using uh, US Composites epoxy and their uh, aerosil, cabosil, thickening agent and uh, anyways I'm gonna get this baby put on tonight okay. it's about done buttering this flange up and uh, be able to put this uh, roof replacement piece in place and put a few rivets in it to hold it and uh, should be pretty good temporary screws I'm putting in here to hold it up tight and in position. Okay. Right, start with the rivets. Fill the heads of these rivets with a little bit of epoxy and uh, probably come back later and uh, put some sealant, sealant in the heads of the rivets just to be sure they're not going to leak down the road. Alright, so got it on, it's all epoxied on, had to use some rivets to draw the edges up tight seal those up. Uh, they're put in with epoxy and uh, I don't think they would leak but uh, probably fill the top holes with some 5200 or some sort of RV roof caulking and don't think I'll have to do anything with this joint. It's all filled with epoxy but I may come back and put a, a layer of uh, sealant on that also. Um, anyways it's strong. It's totally fixed. No issues. Good as new. And I've got this, it's got the matching tread pattern. So I'm glad I bought this piece instead of trying to lay up uh, my own fiberglass. So, anyways, pretty happy with it. And uh, that's fixed.